Good morning and welcome back to a brand new job. Now, this week, Drew and I are gonna be focusing on a repointing job. A few weeks ago, I had a phone call. Uh, someone reached out to me through Instagram and said that someone's come along, repointed their ass and made a right mess of it. They wanted me to come along and give them a price and then repoint it all. So I'll bring you in close and I'll show you what we're on with. The initial story of this house is that three lads turned up on ladders, repointed the entire job in a day or two, uh, charged close to two grand, and this was the finish they left the client with. So you can see most of it's been raked out now, but this was their weather struck finish. So honestly, a right mess, and in all fairness, they've rendered off the brickwork and they've just made a right mess. I've agreed to repoint the job uh, using 3.5 NHL line. We've done it before, it's over there. Um, so we're going to have a really nice finish on this job. Now, one of the issues, what the client's having, is because we've used, or someone's used, sorry, sand and cement on this old lime mortar building. There's loads of damp now inside, and it's causing one of the clients uh, really severe health problems. So we're going to get this sorted as soon as possible. I've put two prices in, a rake out price and a repointing price. The rake out price was £40 square metre. So the client got someone else to rake out, which is fine, but um, it's left me with a lot of work to do. You can see they've kind of butchered the brickwork, which is a real shame. And they've left on all of the old sand and cement that these bloody cowboys put on. So unfortunately, Drew and I today have got to spend all day pretty much asking the brickwork and then taking off all of this old sand and cement before we even think about mixing up some lime. I'm gonna go nip, get some acid in a bit, just to clean up all the arises off the brick so we can bring it back to life, hose it down, and then we're gonna start pointing. Whether that's today, I don't know. So we'll catch you in a bit. When you run it out of luck, need to get unstuck, so go off. When you rub against the wall and you cannot fall, so go off, go off. Cool. Right, it's gone about half one, almost two o'clock. Drew and I have spent the entire morning and most of the afternoon scraping off all the old mortar on this, uh, this gay blend. Now, nah, we've filled up just a bucket and this was all what was on the face work of these poor client's house. So that's what we've done this morning, just going around chiseling and tapping all of the face brickwork to get it all off and we've finally done that also grinded out over this archway here so that's all sorted what we're going to do right now hose the wall down saturate it get all the remaining dust out and then we're going to use a quite a weak acid mix i'm going to do a little test panel first because what i want to do is try and get off the stains from the sand and cement water so you can see here on this brick for example you can see how it's discolored and even though I can rub it, some of the stains are still going to stay. So ideally, I want to get all of that off before we put in the nice new lime mortar. my special glasses on. Yes. So what we're doing right now is just a light acid wash. What we have is a four and one mix in here. One part acid, four parts water. What I'm doing, I just want it strong enough that when I spray the bricks, you can see how it's gently fizzing. You see where it's fizzing on these stains? Okay, that's all I want. So we're just gently spraying the brickwork down, agitating it with a soft brush. You can already see I've done this section here and compared to this, to that, there is a massive difference. Bearing in mind, 
this here I've already hosed down and gone over with a brush and that's how it's come up whereas this is going to be the finished result so a huge huge difference and it just takes it back to looking more original so that's what we're doing it's about well it's almost three o'clock so a busy day doing all this prep work a little bit of Aston left to do and then we're out of here Right, quarter past three, and we have pretty much wrapped up for the day. Gave this old brickwork a real gentle acid wash, four and one. It bought it up really nice, and it's got, it's got rid of a lot of the stains what was initially on the brickwork from the other dodgy people. So hopefully now, it's just gonna dry overnight, and then we can start putting in our 3.5 NHL lime and get this back to how it originally was before anyone turned up and ruined their ass. Anyway, we'll catch you tomorrow morning. Easy. Fucking horrendous out there. They always put their sunglasses on. Yes, right, it's Wednesday morning. Yesterday was a total washout. The rain was absolutely mental, thunder and lightning. It was no good for anyone. So we're back today. We've thrown on a mix already. Nice lime water mix, 3.5 NHL. And we're gonna start getting this in the wall today. Now, before we even start, we've got this, which is now full of water. We're just gonna gently mist out all of the joints just so it's saturated, ready to take our nice new lime. So we are gonna get this absolutely blasted in today. I want this top off done by late morning, maybe afternoon. So I'm gonna catch you in a few hours and we're gonna blast right now. Yes. Right, it's just gone. It, well, it's almost two o'clock. <laughs> We've done 11 square meters so far. Just a nice, normal flush finish for the pointing. Nothing crazy, just getting it back to how it originally was about a year ago before anyone even turned up and made a right mess. A few days ago, I mentioned how one of the clients is getting quite ill because of all the damp that's been gathering behind this one wall. What happens when we put sand and cement on an old lime water house, water goes into the brickwork, but because it's got such a hard material, such a sand and cement on it, it can't come back out and evaporate. So it's caused black mold on the entire backside of this wall. And it's really causing havoc with, some, uh, with the client. So we've raked everything out, or someone else has already raked everything out, and we're just putting back lime mortar, so the correct mortar for this job and for this house, which was built probably in the 60s, maybe the 50s. So it's always best to use the correct material when renovating and doing all pointing jobs. So at the, at the moment, all I'm doing, I'm just dampening back down the wall with just repointed. The reason I'm doing this is just to make sure that the new line we've just put into this brickwork doesn't crack, doesn't shrink too quick and anything like that. Before we knock off today as well, I'm gonna get some damp hessian, put that over this brickwork. It'll slow down the water and the moisture coming out of our new mortar. And therefore it should stop any cracking and things like that. Easy. Yes, yes, right, that is where we're leaving it for today. It's just gone five past four. We've tied it up, up there and down here. Earlier on, I sprayed all of that hessian, which is up there, with the hose, so it's nice and damp. Hopefully, even though it's really windy, it don't dry out too quick, and I'll still give it a little blast in the morning. Tomorrow, I need to nip to MKM, go see, hopefully, one of my subscribers, Jim, pick up some more materials. If you follow me, 
we actually have got a load of lime left over. I've got one, two, three, I've got four 25 kilo bags of lime I've already made and I've just put it in there. Now the thing is with lime, it only reacts to carbon dioxide in the air and that's what makes it go off. So if it's in an airtight bag, that'll be good for tomorrow or even next week. So we're gonna use that tomorrow. I'm gonna to go get some materials. Drew's gonna get here and start pointing. So yes, yes, we'll catch you tomorrow morning. <laughs> so wobbly, a terrible little scaffolding. Right, good morning and we are back on the job. Now this morning, Drew and I just finished off pointing all of this and we've just roughly covered it back up. We're using the old mortar from yesterday, which I've just mopped up using a whisk. So that is nice and creamy ready to be used today. So at the moment, all we're gonna do is blast all of this panel in. Not too much square meterage now, because there's a lot of windows and detail in this wall, such as this, so we don't need to report that because uh, the other builders didn't ruin it. However, Drew needs to just take out some of the old pointing the other lads put in. So a little bit of messing about, but nothing too crazy. Today we've got a few brick replacements to sort out, such as where this old extract fan used to come out. Lots of messing about today, but hopefully we can get this job totally wrapped up, clean, tidy, and then handed back to the client. So we're gonna get stuck in, and we'll catch you in a bit. Right, it's almost one o'clock and this is how we're looking. Drew has pointed all of this brickwork here and all we have left is about four square meters, not even that to do here. Now I've just been and picked up a few brick replacements because obviously I've quoted for about 15 brick replacements. Now these are from a job down the road, very convenient for me and they are a pretty nice match. If you compare them side by side, they're not bad at all. Obviously this one's got some white paint on, the others don't, so nice, decent match. So a few brick replacements to do, but nothing too crazy. Couple things, these bricks are semi-engineering, so they actually have a bit of a shine to their face. To make them pop and ting even more, you can put linseed oil, on your bricks. Now you can do this on blues and they ting for about an extra year. The same goes for these engineering bricks here. So all I have is a tiny bit of oil on this rag and you just rub it on and they absolutely pop and it gets rid of any of those stains and it just helps buff them up. So we're gonna go over the job and do that just to make sure everything is tinging. Now, something a bit annoying. Um, I didn't rake out this job, someone else did. And when doing so, they made a right mess, not to mince my words. There's score marks all over the bricks. They've overshot the perps. So I've been given the task of filling in all of these little holes. So what I have here is a pure lime mixed with a tiny, tiny bit of sand. So it's like a putty, okay? And I've got some red dye in it and some black dye. And all I'm doing is just going round and trying to find any score marks on the brickwork. So for example, I can just fill that quite nicely with a bit of putty and it blends it in quite nice. So I've got to do that for this entire wall. Now it don't look great at the moment, but blend it, blend it, blend it, blend it, blend it. Blends in all right. It don't look too bad. So especially where the score marks from the grinder, it's obvious. So I'm just going around now, filling all of them in. So it's really tedious and it's actually slowed the job down dramatically and I've not even quoted for it. So I'm not very happy, but it doesn't matter. We're gonna get this right. I'm gonna sort this job out for these clients and then we should be out of here, maybe by Monday now. 
breathe you like a cigarette love sick i'm feeling it you're not the one but i still want you like the beat in my chest love sick i'm feeling it i know you're not the one but i still want to light up breathe you like a cigarette love sick i'm feeling it you're not the one but i still want you like the beat in my chest love sick i'm feeling it i know you're not the one but i still want to light up still want you in my body still want you in my veins yeah my eyes getting caught and set me off like a flame Right, so that is where we're leaving it for this week. Now, overall, we did pretty well finish off pointing up this entire wall, but we have got a few more brick replacements to do. Still need to go around and do all of that filling with the putty. So if I didn't have to do that and all the brick replacements, what the people who grinded out their stuff on we probably would have been wrapped up today. Bit of a shame, but it's just one of them. I'm not going to start rushing about now and let the quality of this job dip because they've already had people ruin their ass. So we're, we're not going to do that. We're just going to carry on taking the time, get everything bang on. So we do have to come back Monday, but it is just one of them. So yes, overall good week, 47 square meters pointed. So good going in three days. And we spent an entire day sorting out the mess, what the other lads left with all the mortar on the wall. So we'll catch you Monday. So I'm spraying through with the hose. Right, we'll catch you Monday. I'll see you later. It's only going to be a couple of hours worth of work. Fingers crossed anyway. So coming close, we've got brick replacements here to sort out. Gouge marks, you can see here. A couple of gouge marks there, there. While I'm doing all the brick replacements, I'm going to have Drew go around and start buffing up all of our brickwork with the linseed oil. We'll come back to you in a little bit. Yes, yes. Right, there we go. That is where we're going to be leaving this job. This morning, all Drew and I have done is go around, polish everywhere really nicely with that linseed oil. And you can see that it's just bought out the color off these bricks. Back to how they were, probably before anyone ever tampered with this brickwork a year ago. So everything's looked really nice. We've also just off our own back, done all the blues, gone round and titivated all of them. And I've just been filling all of those little score marks, what the other people before me did, ruining all the brickwork. So we've gone round filling all them today. So just a really busy day. Now that pretty much wraps up this job. Like I said, we only priced to actually repoint 47 square meters. We ended up having to clean up all the brickwork because obviously the other people who raked out left a load of mortar on the job so we had to sort all that out and then off my own back we went round filling all the score marks and then i even tinted all the bricks with that linseed oil but i'm very glad we did all that because the job looks fantastic now and the clients are really happy <laughs> and that's what it's all about another busy day uh but yeah that's where drew and i are going to be leaving it so we will catch you whenever we catch you next sand easy